Frontier Regional School High School Volleyball on Frontier Community Access Television. Today's game, the Frontier Redhawks take on the Long Meadow Lancers. Frontier comes in with an 11-1 record, 3-0 in league play. Long Meadow comes in with a 6-4 record, 1-2 in league play. Lauren Davenport comes in leading with 139 kills. That's an amazing number. Olivia Dean, 59 aces. They're looking to try and take out these Long Meadow Lancers quickly if they can on a very, very special night at Spike It For Life night. And uh, spikeitforlife.org is the website. You can learn more about the cause. Essentially, we're raising money tonight for breast cancer research. Let's go to the floor for the starting lineups. Welcome all the viewers joining us, not only on this recorded version of this game, but we're also live on Facebook Live for the first time tonight. And uh, this is a new thing we're trying to do to increase our presence. So if you're watching on Facebook Live, welcome to this very special Spike It For Life fundraiser. Frontier comes in red hot. They've won their last, they have not lost in their last eight sets. They defeated Melrose and East Long Meadow in straight sets, 3-0. And they defeated Amherst in a game we had, 3-1. Amherst was able to take one of those games. So the, for the past 10 games Frontiers played, they have won nine. 
That's pretty amazing. We'll see if they can't keep that streak rolling here against Long Meadow, who comes in. Six and four, one up and two down in the league, and they're a tough team. Despite what their record may indicate in terms of the league play, they're going to give these Red Hawks all they can handle. And we do our best. The, the roster that we have for Long Meadow does not bear a lot of resemblance to the numbers that are on the floor. So we're going to do our best uh, to keep, at least in Long Meadow's case, to keep things straight. And for Frontier, it's pretty much the, uh, the usual suspects. You're going to see a lot from Davenport. Fuqua to Davenport was the, uh, the duet the last time we saw these teams play. And I would expect that to be the case again. Karapoli serving for La Meta. We're underway. And there's a set to from Fuqua to Davenport, but that hit the net. And it's 1-0 Long Meta. Fuqua with the dig and a return by Frontier. Set and a spike. The dig. Fuqua with the set and the hit. Kept in play by Long Meadow. And good volley here. Return back by McAndrews. Another spike. And tip at the net. Did not get it over. That was Haley Orlowski. Couldn't quite make the play, and it's 2 0. Long well, Meadow. Cardaropoli to serve. Low serve. Quick spike at the net returned. Set and a hit. Blocked at the net. Nicely done. And Long Meadow has three unanswered points right now, getting the better of it in this game. Like I said, this is. A, a bit of a sleeper game for the Red Hawks. The Slam Meadow team is better, I think, than maybe some people think. Good hard low serve. Fuqua trying to return it. Spike, and that's the first point for Frontier. Kamani Topolski, the junior, is able to hit it from midcourt. And the Hawks will serve Orlowski. To put it in play for Frontier. Good low serve. McAndrews puts it back over. Fuqua is set. Spike block at the net. Good net play by Long Meadow. They sell it right back. And typically that's a point for Frontier. Not that time. 4 1 Long Meadow with an early lead. And. Sangachan to serve it for Long Meadow. Good tough serve. Isler able to return it. Set, spike, long. No, they're going to say it was in. Looked out from here, but I don't have a great vantage point, but 5 1. So Long Meadow come to play tonight. Anka Chan to serve for the Lancers. Another good low serve. Isler to Fuqua. Spike. Point. Kalega doing the damage that time for Frontier. 5-2. And Ashley will serve it up. For the Red Hawks. Good low serve. That's going to be it. Oh, no. They want to keep it in. And nope, unable to return it. So that's technically an ace for Talega. That makes it 5-3. So here come the Red Hawks. And that one, they're going to say was long. And Long Meadow will take it back. Haley Cole to serve. Net. 6-4. Frontier to take it back.
Good low serve. McAndrews is able to return it. Is low with the dig. Set. Spike. And that's going to be a point for Frontier. Set. Spike is there with the dig. Still in play. Nope. Out of bounds. And that one's going to be out. Eight three eight five. Excuse me, in favor of Long Meadow. And again, welcome to everybody joining us on Facebook Live tonight. Jump serve net. That was directly into the net. Eight six. And Long Meadow still with the lead, but Frontier with the serve. Lauren Davenport, one of the tri captains, to serve it. Good knuckling serve. Nice net play, and I think they're going to say that one of the Long Meadow players hit the net. So 8-7, so after spotting pretty good lead, Frontier has a chance to come back on a, on a win a point here and tie this game. Davenport. Ace. That one hit Carteropoli in the leg. That ties the game at 8. in the net. 9-8 and Long Meadow will take it back. Bridget McAndrews 5-7 junior to serve it for Long Meadow. Set Spike Long. And that was Jalen Sullivan with the hit. Whoa, that was a wicked serve. And that's going to be an ace. Oh, my goodness. McAndrews really got up in the air for that one. That was almost unreturnable. 11-8. Long Meadow. They have not trailed in this game so far. Oof. That might be one of the hardest serves I've seen this year. Another point for Long Meadow. Bridget McAndrews, do it again. Ooh! Return by Frontier. Spike, nice dig. Isler with the set. And the return by Fuqua. Isler again with the dig. Quick set, Spike. And that's going to go to Frontier. Once again, headed directly at us. Alec Echo gave his body up for the team on that one. 12-9. And Riley Isler to serve for the Red Hawks. Good low serve. Set. And McAndrews could not get enough elevation on it. And that's a point for Frontier. 12-10. It's been a nip and tuck battle so far tonight on Spike It for Life here at Frontier. Isler. Low serve, and that's going to be with barely return. Nicely done. Set. Spike. Block. Nice return by Von Meadow. Oh, nice dig by McAndrews to keep it in play. Long Meadow has played tough on the Nets tonight. That's going to be a point for Frontier. As Sangachan tried to save it, couldn't. 12-11. 
Riley Isler. Return by Longmeadow. Isler with the set, spike, in. Point for Frontier. And again, that was Ashley Talega at the net. All tied up at 12. Again, this is game one. First team to get to three wins. Three games, that is. Wins the match. And as I mentioned, Frontier has not lost a game in their last eight. Set. Spike. Point. Senkachan with a nice play there to get the lead back for Longmeadow and the serve. Lynn Swanson to serve it for Longmeadow. Set, spike, the dig. And it's returned and that hit by Carl Rappley handcuffed the Frontier player a little bit. And Longmeadow wins the point, 14-12. So just when you think Frontier is going to come back and take the lead, Longmeadow goes on a run. Set, spike. And that one is going to go long. And Frontier will get the serve back, it looks like. A couple of substitutions in for the Red Hawks. We'll reset those names as soon as we get them. Elizabeth Fuqua. Excuse me, no, that's... Uh, yeah, Fuqua to serve for Frontier. Just inside the line again. Kamaropoli with a good hit to get the point. Time on the floor. We'll take the break. Long Meadow with a lead over Frontier. 15-13. This is Red Hawk Volleyball on Frontier Community Access Television. Want to thank our underwriters for tonight's game. These underwriters are helping it make it possible for us to be here and to broadcast Frontier Regional Sports. They are attorney Dan Graves. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office, 7738-706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service. We're the best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at BobbyC'sDJService.com and by Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins, Kevin Murphy, Alec Gecko, the crew out here at Frontier Regional School. This, of course, is Spike It for Life Night. And Longmeadow looking to come in here and do some damage against the Red Hawks as they had the lead, 15-13. And the serve will be put in play by... Carter Ropley who had a couple of good plays in this first game at the net. Is there with the dig? Set by Fuqua. Spike. Yes. No. They're going to say it was out. Wow. It looked like it landed into me. I had a pretty good look at that one. But point goes to Long Meadow. Is there to Fuqua. Spike. And it was tipped. And the point goes to Frontier. Returned. Top of the net. As they're trying to keep it alive, Fuqua returns. Set, tip over. Kept in play by Frontier. Isler with the set. Spike, blocked, point. Well, Isler set up Dean, and she be Davenport beautifully. And we're tied up at 15. Frontier can take their first lead. Olivia Dean comes into this game with 59 aces this season. And make it 60. 16, 16.
out. 17-16. Psycho Chan to serve it for Long Meadow. Fuqua. And spike at the net again by Davenport. Point Frontier. All tied up at 17. That's out. Good idea trying to hang over the line, but clearly out. So Long Meadow will serve. This is Haley Cole. Net. 18-18. So it looked in the beginning of this game like Long Meadow was going to run away with the first game, but so far Frontier has hung in there. Olivia Rose Warren to serve it for Frontier. Good low lefty serve. And the return by McAndrews hits the net. And so Frontier finally has their first lead, 19-18. Good deep serve by Rose Warren. Romero's able to keep it in play. Isler, set, spike, in. Once again, a very devastating Lauren Davenport. That was no question that one was in. Timeout on the floor will take the break. Suddenly Frontier knocking on the door of a game one win. It's Frontier 20, Long Meadow 18. This is Red Hawk Volleyball and Frontier Community Access Television. Once again, thanking our underwriters who are helping bring you Frontier Regional Sports this season. And we'll have more as the season goes on, but we want to thank attorney Dan Graves, Deerfield's town moderator. We're a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Body sees DJ service for the best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. BobbySeesDJService.com is the website. And Holiday Pizza. The center of South Deerfield, they are the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. <laughs> Olivia Rose Warren, once again to serve for Frontier. Good deep serve. Set, spike. Isler with the dig. Rose Warren set, spike. Can they keep it in play? They do, nicely done by McAdams. Oh, a little, little teardropper over the net by McAndrews. He's had a fine game already, and it's 2019. So you got to win by two to win the game. Deep serve. The dig. And the turn. No. Dean was trying to return it, but it just sort of went straight up in the air. 20 to 20. And Long Meadow to serve it again. Good low serve. Tipped at the net by Swanson. 21 20. So Long Meadow. Great first game. They are not going away. They've led almost this entire game. Now the coach is questioning the last. I mean, they, gave, they gave the point to Frontier, it looks like. So Liv Dean will put it in place. So I, I kind of thought that was Long Meadows ball, but time, well, time out on the floor. It won't go anywhere. Right now it is Frontier 21, Long Meadow 20. Red Hawk Volleyball on Frontier Community Access Television. So Frontier leads 21 to 20. 
They have the serve. Olivia Dean, the serve for the Red Hawks. Andrews with the return. And Frontier keeps it in play. Andrews hits it way back. Rose Warren, and it's going to be out. Point Long Meadow. That was not a great volley there by Frontier. And Bridget McAndrews, who proved that she has a wicked serve earlier in this game, is going to serve for Long Meadow. Is there with the dig? Rose Warren tipped over by Frontier. And Davenport's able to clear drop it. That's going to be a point for Frontier. Nice play by Lauren Davenport. Sometimes a power move isn't what's called for. 22-21. So Isler to serve for Frontier. Ooh, almost didn't get returned. Spike, the dig. Out. And they went long. There was a nice smash by McAndrews. 23-21, Frontier to serve again. And it's Isla. Good deep serve. Keep over at the net. Lega returns it. Spike at the net. Still in play. Isler sent back over. Good dive by Isler to keep it alive. And unable to do so. Yeah, that kind of handcuffed everybody. Isler did a great job to even keep that ball in play. But once he did, no one was quite sure what to do. So Swanson to serve it. 23-22 for Long Meadow. Smite. Nice dig. And McAndrews. McAndrews tips it back over. Still in play. Smashed by Davenport. Still alive. McAndrews keeps it in. Good volley here. Point Frontier. So this is game point. And if Frontier can win this game, this is going to be a great comeback. They were trailing by as many as six points at one point in this game. And this is game point if they can win this point. Elizabeth Fuqua to serve for Frontier. Is there? Set by Fuqua. Spike. Kept in play. Still in, the, in play. Fuqua set. Spike. Block at the net. Still in play. Spike. Good dig again. Long Meta will not go down without a fight. Ah. Attempted spike at the net by Talega, and she couldn't get it over. 24-23. Carter Rockley to serve for Long Meadow. Net game. Final score in game one, Frontier 25, Long Meadow 23. We'll switch ends. This is Red Hawk Volleyball on Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins, Alec Eckel, Kevin Murphy, and the gang back out here at Frontier Regional School after spotting Long Meadow a pretty good lead. The Frontier Red Hawks are able to come back and defeat Long Meadow in game one of this match by a count of 25 to 23. Long Meadow led by as many as six points during the early part of that game, and Frontier just kept hanging around. And again, that, this is the ninth consecutive game that Frontier has won. 
They were they actually won by shutout victories over Melrose and East Long Meadow, 3 nothing, And they took uh, three games to one win over Amherst. In fact, they haven't lost many games this year. And the credit Long Meadow, they gave them everything that they could handle in that first game. And game two up. I want to thank our underwriters for Frontier Regional Sports this year. Attorney Dan Graves, Deerfield's town moderator, and a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Give him a call. 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Bobby C's DJ service.com is the website. And Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. So much more than a pizza place. They got grinders, they got dinners. And Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Stay tuned to our station throughout the fall. We've got uh, a number of games lined up. The next broadcast we have will be at Turner's Falls on Friday night, the 5th, as the Frontier Red Hawk football team, which is having a great season, coming off a big win over Mahar, takes on the Franklin Tech Eagles. We're coming off a 30 to nothing loss to Greenfield last week, and we'll be looking to try and get back in the win column. That'll be a good one. And we also have some more volleyball. we got some soccer, girls soccer, boys soccer coming up. And uh, so be listening and be keep tuned to your television dial. By the way, you can find out our lineups uh, by going to fcat.tv, our website. Just click on channels, whatever channel you want, channel 12 or, 20 or 15, to find out when your favorite game and team is playing. And you can always watch all these games on demand at youtube.com with the FCAT media page. So we're getting ready to start off game two. Again, this is Spike It for Life Night. It's a fundraiser for breast cancer research. This is October and you see a lot of pink because that's the color of breast cancer awareness. And you see a lot of events around the area pegged around and raising money for this particular cause. Riley Isler to serve. Start game two for Frontier. That's going to go long. one nothing Frontier. Again, those deep serves are always tough to handle. So Isler to serve again, the sophomore. Great athlete. Another deep serve. Spike, nice dig by Isler to return it. Flukrock keeps it in play, and Frontier is able to get it back over. Spike, again Isler with the dig. And Dean with a teardropper over the net. And that's going to be an out. And that's going to be a point for Frontier, but Isler kept that alive with two very, very good digs. 2 nothing. Isler to serve it again. That's going to go long. A little too much air under that one. 2-1. Long Meadow will get it back, and they will get the serve. Emily Sankachan to serve it for the Lancers. That's going to be a tip at the net. Point goes to Long Meadow. As a frontier player, a contact with the net, you can't do that. <laughs> Dean with the dig. And Dean with the return. Off the set. Spike long. Point frontier. 3 2 Red Hawks. And Elizabeth Fuqua. We'll serve it up for Frontier. Good dig by Davenport. Set, spike by Dean. Nice return. No, oh, they could not return on a nice dig by McAndrews and just could not return it. 4-2 Frontier. Luke Wada serve again. For the Hawks. Yeah. 
Good serve by Fuqua. Spike, block at the net. Point on Meadow. Once again, McAndrews comes up big. She's having a great game at the net. Four long meadow. Out. Point Frontier, 5-3. And Olivia Dean to serve for the Red Hawks. Dean is just a sophomore, hard to believe. We'll see her on the basketball court this winter, I believe. Now, take a picture of that, because you don't see that very often from her. 5-4. Long Meadow to serve. Is there. And a spike by Davenport. Good dig. Is there. Set by Fuqua, and nice tip at the net again by McAndrews. That ties the game at five. Out. Once again, Alec Eckel sacrificing body to protect his broadcaster. 6-5, Frontier with the lead. Talega to serve it up. Deep serve, dig, set, return. And boom! Davenport dropping the hammer again as only she can. Again, coming into this game, 139 kills on the season. That's an amazing number. Play going to serve again for the Frontier Red Hawks, leading 7 5 in game two. Frontier took game one, 25 23. Good low serve. Davenport again. Good return by Long Meadow. Davenport's able to put it back in the set by Dean. Set by Talega. Oh, a nice network. Good job by Fuqua to keep it in play. Good spike again. Nice dig. Oh, just could not quite get it over. That was a great ball. And some nice, nice mid-court play by the Red Hawks to even keep that thing in play. That makes it 7-6. And while Meadow will get the serve back, Bridget McAndrews. I would say easily the best player on this team with the serve upcoming. Fuqua, the set. Davenport, the spike. And still in play. And the turn by Longmeadow. Set, spike. Kept in play by Longmeadow again. Isla to Fuqua. And again, great network. But the ball goes out of bounds. So Frontier will get the point and the serve back. Olivia Rose Warren to serve for Frontier. Deep serve. Returned by Long Meadow, still in play. Point Long Meadow. 8-7. Benzo, Beznos to serve it for Long Meadow. Good low serve, just over the net. Set, spike by Davenport, good. Nine seven Frontier, and Lauren Davenport. We just had that last kill, will serve. Gavin Porter is one of the tri-captains on this team. Oh, net. Just could not quite clear the net. 9-8. Carteropoli to serve for a long meta. D. 
Dean with the dig. Goes one to Dean. Spike. And kept in play by Long Meadow. Set. Dean. Tip over the net. And Lamp is able to return. That important. And then spike at the net by Zoli. And Dean. Another spike kept in play. Okay, these Lancers, and that one's going to be out. No, they're going to say it was in. It looked like it landed outside the line, but no, they're going to say it's in, I think. Line judge indicated it was out. The refs now have to confer. That was about as close as it gets. Point Frontier. 10-8 Frontier, so they're going to say it did go out. And Riley is there. Will serve. Low serve. Set. A return by Long Meadow. Talega. Set. Spike. And point. That was Sullivan with that spike. It makes it 11 to 8 Frontier. And Isler will serve it again. Dig. And the turn by Long Meadow. That's going to be a point. Once again, Bridge and McAndrews from the midcourt. It will send that one back Frontier's way, and they did not have an answer for it. 11 9. And Sankachan to serve for Long Meadow. And very competitive match. First game was competitive. This one, every bit the same. Rose Warren to Dean. Tip over the net. Now a spike, Olivia Dean. Two big plays at the net. Frontier keeps the lead, 12-9. Couple of substitutions coming in for Frontier. Back into the game is Fuqua. Also back into the game is Riley Isla. Or excuse me, no, that's uh, Haley Orlaska back into the game. Fuqua to serve. Set, spike. Nice dig by Davenport. Dean's able to return. Again, nice block at the net by Frontier. Set, spike for Dean. Good dig. Good return by Long Meadow. Set, tip over. Teardropper hits. And that was Haley Orlowski, I believe, who made that happen. 13-9. Sometimes that little teardropper is all you need to be able to get that point. Fuqua to serve. Tough to turn. And they do it. Isler. Fuqua. Dean. That's a turn by Long Meadow. Isler with the set. Orlowski again with the teardrop. This time returned by Long Meadow. Is there with the set? Dean the spike. Point. Frontier is rolling right now. Four unanswered points. They lead 14 to 9. Timeout on the floor. We'll take the break. Frontier out in front in game two. Red Hawks 14, Long Meadow 9. This is Red Hawk Volleyball on Frontier Community Access Television and Facebook Live. Chris Collins, Alec Gecko. Sam Finch and Kevin Murphy, the executive producer of Frontier Regional Sports. We are here at Goodnow Gymnasium tonight as part of a breast cancer fundraiser. Spike it for life, the Frontier Red Hawks took game one, 25-23. They lead in game two, 14-9. I want to once again thank our underwriters for making our coverage possible. Attorney Dan Graves, he's a Deerfield Town moderator. He's also a practicing attorney. My old high school classmate. Carlos Greenfield office at 7738706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service, another good friend. Go to Best Mobile Disc Jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. And Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield, the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. If you want to join our 
Mary Band of Underwriters, just give me a call at 665-0012. We'll be happy to put you on the list for a very affordable price to be part of this effort to support Frontier Athletics. Now a little bit of a net play, and the point's going to go to Long Meadow as Fuqua touched the net inadvertently, so Long Meadow will get the serve back. A couple of subs coming in for the Lancers. Swanson's back in. And this is Bezos to serve. Is there? And then spiked by Talega, blocked. Set. Spiked on again by McAndrews. Hits hard. 14-11. Andrews is tough. He's everywhere on the court tonight. Bays notes to serve. Dig. Set by Fuqua. Dean the smash. Kept in play by Long Meadow. Only temporarily though. This point goes to Frontier. 15-11. And it will be Olivia Dean. Serve for the Red Hawks. That's going to be an ace. That handcuffed everybody on the Long Meadow side of the ball. Dean to serve it again for Frontier. Another tough deep serve. That's going to probably be an ace again. Nope, they're able to return it. Nicely done by Long Meadow to be able to put that back into play. Set, tip. Nice save. Still in play. Fuqua to Isler. Here comes Davenport. Bang. Still in play. Well done by Long Meadow to keep that ball alive. Dean's able to return it. Set, tip. Still in play. Orlowski, it'll knock it over. Spike, point. Great exchange there. And Long Meadow with a well-earned point. 16-12. As once again, I am hit by a volleyball. That's three times now, Alec. You haven't defended me. Set, is there with the spike. Good block at the net, but it's gonna be a point for Long Meadow. As the Lancers are having a solid performance at the midcourt. Long. 17-13. Into the game for Frontier is Sarah Zoli. Isla will take a break. And to serve will be Abby Roberts. That's going to go long. Headed our way. 18-13. Time out on the floor, we'll take the break. Frontier knocking on the door of a game two win. It's Red Hawks 18, Long Meadow 13. This is Red Hawk Volleyball and Frontier Community Access Television. Back out here at Goodnow Gymnasium as part of Spike It For Life Night. Thanks to everybody who's joining us right now on Facebook Live. It's our first time on Facebook Live and we're certainly Enjoying being able to bring this to you. Thanks to Kevin Murphy for making that happen. I know that Ella Dean, who played for this team last year, is out there watching, as is Lee Wordley, who, of course, is the mom of Stephen Wordley. And Wendy Carlson's out there as well. Wendy, of course, is the mom of our 
very own Matt Cross, who's right now lighting it up down there at Bentley. And still helping us every once in a while when we have technical issues. And that's going to be a tough serve to return. Almeto does so. Olivia, the Fuqua, Orlowski with the spike. Lefty style. 19-13. So the beat goes on for the Hawks. As again, they have not lost in the last eight games they've played, I believe. Another tough serve to return. Spike Long. 19-13. Alec Echel, once again, Johnny on the spot, protecting his broadcaster. 20-13. Frontier five points away from a game two win. Another good serve. It's going to be an ace. As Romano cannot return the serve from Abby Roberts. 21-13. The Hawks have had the better of it in this game. Long Meadow had the better of it in game one. That's going to be a net. And that's a big, big point for Long Meadow. They needed that one. As they trail 21 to 14. And this is McAndrews again. Tough jump serve. Isler with the dig. Fuqua. To Dean. Set. Spike. Isler with the dig. Fuqua. And that goes to Davenport. Tips it over. Lometo keeps it in play. Spike. He's dig by Fuqua. Orlowski again with the lefty smash. Lometo keeps it in play though. Dean. Fuqua with the set. And they could not tip it over. It's a tough break. Good idea, but they just could not make it happen. And that makes it 21 to 15. McAndrews airmailed that one. And it's 22 15. Frontier will get the serve back. Jalen Sullivan checking into the game for Frontier, as is Olivia Rose Warren. Fuqua gets a break. As does Orlowski. And it'll be Rose Warren to serve it for Frontier. A low serve. Set. Spike block at the net. Is there with the dig? Rose Warren to Dean. Boom. Excuse me, that was a Davenport. Davenport with the set. Gets it back. And blocked at the net nicely by Long Meadow. And that was. Swanson that did the damage there. 22 to 16. Veronica Beznos to serve. For Long Meadow. Isla. Set. Davenport returns it. Still in play. Oh, handcuffed at the net as Davenport. And Zoli went for it, and that one was just a tough break. Just bounced the wrong way. And suddenly, Long Meadow's making a run at it. They now only trail 22 to 17. Four unanswered points. Tough serve, just over the net. Isler keeps it in play. Davenport, spike, boom! 23 17. Man, when she decides to go to the net. That's tough to block. And Lauren will serve the senior captain. Frontier on the verge of making it two games in a row over Long Meadow. Net. That makes it 23 to 18. And Julia Caropoli to serve for Long Meadow. Ooh, a spike at the net as that dig return ended up right on the hands of Cole, and she just rammed it over the net. 23 19. 
Net. 24-19. So this is game point. If Frontier can make this point. They will take two games in a row with a chance to sweep in three again. Isler. Tough return. Set by Rosewarn. Spike blocked at the net. Return by Frontier. Talega. Rosewarn. Dean. Is it out? Point. Game. And that's how game two ends. We played two games from Good No Gymnasium. And the Frontier Redhawks take game two by a count of 25 to 19. We'll take a quick break. We'll do some raffles and come back with game three. This is Red Hawk Volleyball on Frontier Community Access Television. Back out here at Good Note Gymnasium, Chris Collins, Ellen Keckel, Sam Finch, and our friend, the good executive producer of Frontier Community Access Television, Kevin Murphy, who I think just won a raffle. Game three upcoming. Frontier took game one, 25-23, and then they just took game two, 25-19. And if they can win this one, they will sweep this uh, game against Long Meadow as they have the last two games against East Long Meadow and Melrose. Long Meadow will get the serve to start this third game. Julia Carteropoli to put it in play for Long Meadow. Fuqua with the set, spike by Davenport. Kept in play. Nice spike. Isler again at midcourt. Fuqua with the set. Orlowski with the lefty smash. Kept in play by Longmeadow. Fuqua looking for Davenport. Boom. Was it in? I don't know. I don't think I don't think the ref saw it. it looked like it was it may have been on the on the line, but point goes to Long Meadow. After quite a bit of uh, conferring there, Long Meadow keeps the ball. Try to rock with a serve. Good, tough, low serve. Return by Frontier. Set, spike, point. That was Sankachan for Long Meadow to make it 2 nothing. Calderop with the junior to put it in play. Isla, Fuqua, tipped over. And it went through the hands as that was Olivia Dean that made that happen. Went right through the hands of the Long Meadow player. And that makes it 2-1. Frontier will get the ball for the first time in this third game. Olivia Dean to serve. Tough serve by Dean. Ace. Pretty much unreturnable that time. That makes the score 2-2. Frontier keeps the serve. And Olivia will get another whack at it. Tipped in play by Frontier. Tipped over and not returned. And that was a nice tip by Ashley Talega. Keep that going. Three-two frontier. Again, if they win this game, they take the match three games to none. Ace. Olivia 
Olivia Dean pounds the ball onto the floor. Another tough serve. Oh boy. And Juan Meadows able to return it miraculously, it would seem. Fuqua, Davenport blocked at the net, still in play. Fuqua again, Davenport. Great play at the net again by Long Meadow. As first it was Talega, then Davenport. And they were able to stem the tide. And it's Isler now. Spike in. That was a great hit. And Talega now to serve for the Hawks. They lead five to three. Ace. You can see the knuckle on that serve. Right over the top of the net. Nothing that Long Meadow could do about that one. Again, another tough serve. This one they were able to return. Set by Fuqua. Orlowski blocked at the net. And the point goes to Long Meadow. Again, good net play by the Long Meadow Lancers. They've, they've played very, very good net defense tonight when they could. I mean, there's been times when they haven't been able to, to return a lot of these smashes, but they've done pretty well. That's a net. That makes the score 7 to 4 Frontier. See who gets the serve here. And it is going to be Rose Warren. Olivia Rose Warren to serve for Frontier. That's going to be an ace. Set. Spike. Nice play. Once again by Bridget McAndrews at the net. So Long Meadow to serve it up. Trailing 8-5 to five in game three. Again, Frontier took the first two games. Set. Spike. And point. Yeah, Long Meadow did a good job. Gorfinkel did a good job to even have a chance to return that. 9-5. to five. Davenport to serve. For Frontier. Ace. Ten five Frontier. Long Meadows' best game was that first game. It looked like they were going to run away with it early on, and Frontier was able to crawl back into it. Rose Warren. And a block at the net. Again by McAndrews. She was able to block the attempted tip by Horlowski. Actually, that was Olivia Simino. And McAndrews to serve. Just over the top of the net with the ace. That just cleared the net. 10-7. Isler to Rose Warren, returned by Frontier. Well, Meadows able to keep it in play, and again, a little rehearsed behind the back play by McAndrews. And Long Meadow is starting to roll here a little bit, building some momentum. They trail 10 to 8. McAndrews, net. 
makes the score 11 8. Isler to serve for Frontier. A deep serve. Turn by Longmeadow. Rose Warren set spike. Returned by Longmeadow. Tipped over, kept in play. Isler with the dig. Returned by Frontier. Good volley going here. Spike. Longmeadow's able to return. Great mid-court play by the Lancers. McAndrews, set, still in play. Long volley here. Isler, spike. Good dig by McAndrews again. This is the best volley of the match so far. That's going to go long. That was well played by both sides, but wound up going the way of Frontier. That makes it, oh, wait a second, 12-8. Isler to serve. Nice return by Longmeadow. Set by Rose Warren, spike in. Once again, Olivia Dean, strong on the net. That makes it 13 to eight. Isler to serve for the Red Hawks. Good low serve. Good return by McAndrews. Isler, and return by Frontier. That's some good volleys in this game. Set, tip, net, or the point rather. That was Ashley Talega. Nice little teardropper. That makes it 15 to eight. They have not posted that point yet, I don't think. It says 14 to eight, but I think that was 15, but we'll see Isler. Out. 14-9. That's going to be... Deep serve. Set. Hit. Isler with the set, the spike, kicked in play by Gorfinkel. Good tough return by Frontier. And Longmeadow unable to do it. Ooh, one of the Longmeadow players got taken out and was slow to get up. She got hooked up with her teammate and fell flat on her back. And she's not really moving right now. Coach George Mowry coming over to check on the injured player. Cannot see the number from here. Now Coach Sean McDonald coming over. It's Bezanos. And she went right down the small of her back. She got hooked up with Gorfinkel and just lost her balance. <laughs> and then help her back up, and she's gonna be okay. That is scary when that happens though. That's a hard floor. Again, I want to welcome everybody joining us on Facebook Live tonight. First time doing a game on Facebook Live. You're going to see us do more of these, especially when basketball season starts. We're in this building a lot. And you also might see us stream through YouTube here and there, but Facebook Live is our first 
foray into that universe. And I gotta bring somebody out. And who will serve is the question. Frontier 10 points away from making this a three game sweep. Will be their third three game sweep in as many matches. We have a second. We should mention that uh, this Spike It for Life fundraiser was started by George Mulry and the Longmeadow volleyball team. And it's a setting where teams can raise money for the cancer charity of their choice and to help those in our local communities. And Frontier Volleyball has had a Spike It for Life match each year. And it's a tradition that we uh, are happy to be able to support. Looks like Kevin Murphy won a candle in the raffle, too. I've got about 100 of those at home, buddy, by the way, just so you know. My wife works there. Fuqua. And returned by Dean. And that's going to be a, a point for Frontier as Orlowski playing some defense at the net. Time out on the floor. We'll take the break. Frontier leads in game three, 16 to 9 over Longmeadow. This is Red Hawk Volleyball on Frontier Community Access Television and Facebook Live. I want to take a moment to thank our underwriters. We have three to start off this season, helping make our coverage possible. They are attorney Dan Graves. He is Deerfield's town moderator. He's also a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service. We're the best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now. The website's bobbycsdjservice.com. You'll get his number there and all his information on how you can contact him. And Holiday Pizza, the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Coming up later this week, we're going to be on the road in Turner's Falls as the Franklin Tech Eagles play host to the Frontier Red Hawk football team. Frontier Red Hawks coming off a big win over Mahar last week. That'll be interesting. You can check out that game on all of these games and all of our local productions at FCAT and our, face, our FCAT Media YouTube page at YouTube.com. Just go to YouTube.com, put on FCAT Media, and you'll find us and can watch selectmen's meetings, school committee, all that stuff, and all your sports. Tough serve, return by Longmeadow. Fuqua with the set, and a return. Good hit, kept in play by Frontier. Dean with the return, and that's going to be a point for Frontier. 17-9. Fuqua to serve for the Red Hawks. Who are cruising on their way to their third consecutive win. Actually, their fourth consecutive win, their third consecutive sweep. If they can win game three. Good spike. That's going to be a point for Frontier. Again, Livia Dean. Hard smash. 18 to 9. Fuqua to serve again for the Hawks. Good knuckle serve. Nice return by Longmeadow. Set by Isler. And a return by Dean. Spike at the net. Good play at the net by Leah Gorfinkel for Longmeadow. And that makes it 18-10. And that breaks the Frontier serve. Carveropoli to serve it for Longmeadow. Spike at the net. Again by Dean. Point Frontier. And that was Ashley Talega who made that happen. 19-10. And Olivia Dean to serve for Frontier. Well, on their way to a third straight win in game three. Tough serve. Handy handcuff the player. That's going to be an ace. 
Olivia Dean continuing her ace streak. She's had a, a bunch of them this season. Came into this game with just under 60 aces. Another tough serve. Return though. Set by Fuqua. Spike. Nice dig. And smash return by Frontier. Good net play again by Long Meadow. Isler keeps it alive. Oh, and a tip at the net. And a point by Ashley Talega. Just got that, just got fingertip on the ball. And makes it 21-10. Dean to serve for the Hawks. What a tough, deep serve. Returned by Long Meadow, but no, it's not returned by Long Meadow. That's going to be an ace. 22-10. Dean to jump serve it again for Frontier. Net. 22-11. That breaks the serve, and the Hawks will try to return the serve of Leah Gorfinkel. Spike. Ooh. Returned by Long Meadow. Good job to keep it in play by Frontier. And the point's going to go to Frontier. And that was Abby Roberts, the sophomore, making a great play at the net to even keep that alive. Couple of substitutions now. As checking into the game is Charlotte Dulette. And checking out is Fuqua. Tough serve, ace by Talega. And this is match point upcoming here. We win this point and the game is over. In three straight. Talega. Jump serve. Ace. Game. For the Frontier Redhawks, no question about it in that game as they roll to victory over Longmeadow in game three by a count of 25 to 11. They won game one, 25-23. That was the best game, I think, of the three for Long Meadow. They led by as many as eight points at one point during that first game. Frontier clawed their way back. Frontier pretty well handled them in the second game, and in the third game was really no contest as uh, the Red Hawks for the third straight contest win in straight sets. Once again, I want to thank our underwriters who made this broadcast possible. Attorney Dan Graves... Just to mean Deerfield's town moderator. He is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office, 773 8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service, voted best mobile DJ in the Valley. For five years running, book your next party now at Bobby C's DJ service.com. And Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. For Sam Fink, Alex Echo, and the executive producer. Uh, Frontier Regional Sports, Kevin Murphy and Chris Collins. Final score, Frontier wins it three games to none over Longmeadow at this very special fundraiser for breast cancer research and Spike It for Life. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time. So long with no gymnasium.